Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here today. I'm, of course, Gregor Guy. My name is Casey. And we will be presenting this week's episode of Banghead Financial. Um, so, basically, what's going on this week? Uh, not really a whole lot. Chipotle has decided to accept uh, payment, you know, via Bitcoin through the Gemini Exchange. Um, other than that, you know, not really a whole lot going on. There was, oh, I believe the FOMC meeting is coming up next week. So we'll know what's going to happen with the interest rates then. And probably the following week after that will be when we get the CPI data. So, like I said, not a whole lot going on. However, the White House did release a statement. And I don't have the statement directly in front of me. But, and I'm going to go ahead and paraphrase. Basically stating that they didn't realize inflation was as bad as it was. How could they not? Yeah, mean, and and that's 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 my it's question. Just, it's just how a, how can you not? Because you know, is it just that you know because they are in a much higher pay bracket that they don't notice it? You know, being you know government employees and everything, or uh, or do they just not pay attention to the data that you know we share here on this particular channel? So if we're informed of it, how is the White House not informed of it? I think there's obvious disconnect um, between people who make over a certain amount of money cause yeah. compared to the the, re the rest of us out here in the out out here in the uh, real the, world. The, yeah, the real world. <laughs> um, right, and that's kind of what I was alluding to at the beginning. It's you know just because they're in a higher you know you know pay bracket that they just right. You know, and, and most people don't even react to things that don't generally concern them, um, but the prices are, are are getting, if not already, somewhat out of control. Um, oh yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy. I mean, I, things that I would go to the grocery store, I'd pay like maybe a hundred and twenty dollars. I I'm now walking out of there with a, with probably. I mean, I don't know if it's something that I changed my diet with, but I, now I'm paying. Two hundred dollars plus, and I don't know. I don't. I don't think I change that much. I think I generally speaking always buy the same types of things. Mm -hmm. um, it just seems like I'm walking out of there with a much higher yeah. bill than I did when I walked in. It's not like you went to the grocery store and just started buying organic. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do that. Um, I do believe that organic in some ways is a healthier option, but uh, obviously it is a more expensive option because um, basically the way it's grown and um, they're sacrificing some vegetables to make other vegetables healthier. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, I mean, I, I just don't know, don't know what to say on this. I mean, they... Obviously, you know, government has a close relationship with the Fed, and the Fed should be telling them that, yes, inflation is bad. All they need to do is turn on the news, and you can watch various amounts of reports on how inflation is the worst it's been in 40 years. I, I think there's, like, a bit of denial inside yeah, and, of it, too. Yeah, I, I can see a little bit of that, too, as well. Because they, they, want, they want to think that they came in and that they're doing a good job, but reality is that... Once you, like, they, they said that there was only going to be, like, a lockdown for a certain amount. Yeah. This is, st this is step one. The lockdown was only supposed to last a very short amount of time, but they kept on getting extended. And, uh, really, it hurt a lot of people, and it hurt a lot of businesses. Mm -hmm. um, that and, you know, the, uh, you know, stimulus checks weren't uh, necessarily... A yeah. great thing, because all you did was print money, and guess what? I got, like, what, 1200 bucks? You got, like, what, right. 1200 bucks? What's $1,200 really going to do? Right. And then the, the next step is you had the, um, the Biden administration come in, not only extending lockdowns, but also um, shutting down a lot of the... Um, Internal energy production within the United States. Yeah, that's and you know, energy, the big reason that yeah. gas prices are where they're at. Energy currently. is the number one factor when it comes to um, inflation. 
Because well, everything runs energy. on energy. Well, you know, everything you buy in a store has to be brought there. Right. Via, you know, some transportation device. It has to Which be, uses fuel. It has to be harvested with fuel. Yep. It has to be transported by fuel. It has to be produced with fuel and energy. And then it has to be transported once again to the places where it's going to be sold. So mm -hmm. if you increase fuel, every single step in that ladder um, is going to increase the cost of that item. So fuel is what uh, F the world runs on. Yes. Um, Agree, hundred percent. Right. So, so yeah, don't don't know what else to say other than you know it's just disappointing. Disappointing. Well, we'll go ahead and, you know, end this episode of Baghead Financial right there. Try not to depress the people even more. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, of course, Gregor Guy. My name is Casey. And everyone out there, keep your head up and thanks for watching.